All right, it is time to use up the rest of the resin, but I've added pink and puppy love to the mix in addition to the black and the white and the gold. So yeah, new stars. Howdy, howdy, this is Clara Lawrence. Okay, we are gonna continue with our classic black and white uh, exploration of dirty pores and such, and then adding on to the black and white to kind of make it your own. So now we're gonna add a bold element with this wild jasmine and puppy love. I mean, that is pretty darn bold, I think. <laughs> So what I'm thinking of doing is this time I'm going to, I usually start off with white, but I've got enough of this other color, you know, remnants of the other pores in there that I'm going to start off with black this time. And build upon that. But I still think I'm going to put grumpy next to black because I think it helps grumpy shine. So we're going to do a little bit of the silver pearl and I'll put uh, a picture of the colors I use at the end of this video so that way you can hunt down whichever color you're, in, you're interested in because colors catch each one of us differently. You might be one of those that's like ooh all about the gold and might be one that's all about the bright colors. If you know me, I'm, it's pretty much me right there. All about the bright colors. All right, so I thought, hmm, I picked two tones fairly similar to each other because I thought that it would kind of help build upon the color and maybe uh, create a blend that would be really pretty. And I got just enough of this that if I wanted to do a touch of that at the end after I poured it, I could. All right, a little bit of gold, a little bit more gold. Go, oh, now it's coming off. It's starting to set up so it's getting thicker and thicker. Okay, so that's our cup right now. It's not quite like the acrylic pour cups you've been seeing lately where they have nice, even lines and such. There's different ways of doing a cup. And this is my way. Okay, so I'm gonna do a fairly similar pour like I did the last time, just so you can see from one video to the next video by adding a change of color and how it changes the dynamic of the pour. So last time the uh, star was gold on the black and white, and this time we're doing the, the pink. So I'm gonna do an S pour here also. And the reason why I rotate that around is so that I can get that little bead on the rim to try to encourage it to go back in the cup and not dribble too bad. It's an interesting little color there. It's like that silvery pink. It's got that silver overtone from that silver pearl on it. All right, I think I need a little bit of boldness here. I mean, I've already got Jasmine here staring at me. Might as well use her. Seems like it's a her, I don't know. I like these lines here and I don't wanna disrupt that. And I'm going to come in and just add to this area here. All right. Not crazy about the dribble there. All right, I'm going to add puppy love right in the middle of that and see what happens. Okay. 
This is grumpy. All right, so what I'm also gonna do here is I've got a lot of start stop looking things going on. I'm just gonna take this and just try to smooth it out a little bit. So that way when I tilt it, it's not so bad. I'm also gonna fix this area here. Let's see if I can go through this. Make it look like it's intentional. Alrighty then. Clean off my paws. And I'm using my go-to resin. I haven't said in the last couple videos, but I must say it today. This is the Stone Coat Art Coat resin, which has got a huge working time and I utilize it all the time. I've been able to get at the most, what, two hours, 25 minutes, I believe was my top, which is pretty nuts. But you know how it is. It's like if you've got more time, you end up coming up with more projects to play with. And I do just that. So I'm just going edge to edge, but I'm trying to be very careful because it's got a shallow side to it. This might end up being a very pink tray. Sometimes you just don't know until you're done. a lot of similar traits to acrylic pouring and resin and this is one of those areas where you just don't know what's going to happen. All right, you can see there on the sides there's a little bit of fingerprints going on so clearly my gloves aren't as clean as I thought they were but I will just hit that with a um, paper towel with a little bit of alcohol on there to clean that up. And I use 91% alcohol because it's got a low water content to it. And it works out pretty good with resin. That's a very pink tray. <laughs> All right. Now, I like bold colors, but I also like some contrast. So it's screaming at me a little bit. I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some white in here like maybe a fair amount I'm gonna get that trusty dusty brush that I used before. Just kind of change this up a little bit. So that way it looks a little bit more intentional.
So the reason why I moved the color over the white is this white is color passion and it will pop up some cells. Now I use quite a bit of color passion in my white cup, so I don't know how well the cells will do. Sometimes if you add too much in there, your cells don't hold. So we'll have to see if that does hold or not. If it doesn't, that's okay, because I think that the white will end up dispersing, I mean the pink will end up dispersing, and I'll still have a, a large amount of white in here. This area in here looks super cool. All right, let me bring you in for a close up. Let me get rid of these gloves too. All righty, here we go. Now it's a little early and a lot more might develop. Okay, zooming in time. I really hope that stays like that. I don't know. Put some skinny lines in there of grumpy and the black. It's pretty. You see how the cells are kind of. Uh, it's not, a, it's not a nice clean circle or oval kind of shape, so they may disappear. I don't know. We'll have to see. But overall, this is a very pretty thing. I'm very dramatic with this pink. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. And don't forget to check the links down below in the description area for any info on products you're interested in, supplies I've used, and also the link for my Etsy store. Gotta go check out the art. Later.